Have you guys ever had to deal with the scum of the earth? Buy here, pay here, car lots. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Real quick before we get into the content, I need two quick favors. Please remember to like the video. And second of all guys, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. I really would appreciate the support helping me build my YouTube channel. So guys, buy here, pay here car lots. These places are absolutely scums. It's tax season and they are doing everything they can to advertise and get people to come in and buy these overpriced ass cars with high mileage. Guys, please stay away from buy here, pay here car lots. They are scums. We have places around where I live called Quick Auto. Yeah, quick to get my damn money. Guys, these people prey on the broke, the poor, those with challenging credit, and young, and young adults. These places prey on these individuals, guys. We have to do better and spread the word to people we know. If someone comes and asks you, asks you your advice about one of these people, please tell them to steer clear of car lots like this that deal with challenging credit. Guys, these people are scums. They will sell you shitty cars at high interest rates with no warranties. Guys, please stay away from these people. I got a real quick story to tell you about an employee of mine that just had to deal with one of these places and already after a month, she is regretting it. Guys, this young lady, she just went and purchased a 2014 Ford Taurus with 130,000 damn miles on it, guys, for $14,000. She is 22 years old, just establishing her credit and they just ripped her off with a 22% interest rate. When this young lady is done paying for this car in four years, the car was $13,000. With that 22% interest rate, guys, if she makes every payment for the next four years, she is going to pay over $20,000 for this car. Somewhere around $22,000, $23,000 for this car. Guys, it has 130,000 miles on it. It's 10 years old. And guess what? The car need, needed an oil change when she bought it. They didn't even have the decency to put an oil change on the car. They told her the car's been sold as is. Are you kidding me? You guys couldn't even change the oil for the young lady? Because it's been sold as is? Guys, when, I, when she bought it, I went out, to, I went out um, she bought it, she drove it to work. I went out and checked it out, you know, took a look at it, turned it on. And the, oil, and the change oil light is flashing. I'm like, I'll go back inside. I'm like, you bought this car and it needed an oil change? They wouldn't change the oil? No, they told me it was being sold as is. I'm like, are you kidding me? So you bought a car from a place who didn't even have the decency to change the oil for you? If you have children, or like I said, even, you know, people that are close to you, and they come to you and ask you about places like this, Please tell them to steer clear. Don't do it. They are going to rip you off. They do not give a shit about the consumer. Because all they're going to do is take your bad credit, your challenging credit, your no credit, and give you a car at a 20% interest rate, a piece of shit car at that, and say bye-bye. It's not worth it, guys. It is not worth it. I'd rather take public transportation then deal with one of these scum of the earth, buy here, pay here, car lots. Do not deal with one of these places, guys. Don't do it. Guys, and I just found out today, that's why I had to make this video today. She told me today, she told me today her insurance is $300 a month. I was just floored. I know she's young, 22 years old. I'm like, $400 a month car payment $300 a month insurance, you are shelling out $700 a month for a car that's 10 years old with 130,000 miles on it? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. 
we have to do better financially as adults. And then we need to teach our kids to do better financially as adults. Because if we are not financially literate, we will raise children that's also not financially literate. Guys, we have to do better than this because this cycle will just continue. I have four kids. They all have excellent credit. They would never have to deal with any places like that because myself and their moms helped them build credit as they were young teenagers just by putting them on a couple credit cards. Just by putting our kids on a couple credit cards, when they were 18, 19 years old, they had established credit. I never have to worry about them going to a place like that and getting ripped off. And even if they didn't have good credit, I definitely would advise them not to go to a place like that and get ripped off. But because of my actions and their mother's actions, being financially literate, we put them on a couple of credit cards. So they built years and years and years of credit history before they was even 18 years old. So none of my kids have to ask me to co-sign for anything. They all got great credit. And I've taught them the value of credit. Because why? Again, I am financially literate. No one taught me about the value of credit when I was a young adult. I didn't learn the value of credit. I knew about credit, but I didn't truly understand how valuable credit was until I got into my damn 30s when my credit was all jacked up. So guys, that's my rant on buy here, pay here car lots. Please do not give these places the time of day. I don't care if you do have bad credit, establishing credit or challenging credit. Guys, there are, there are other options you can explore. Please explore them. Do not go to one of these places and get ripped off. Please don't do it. So guys, remember to like the video, share the video, and most important, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. If one thing you don't get from me, guys, is just straight honesty about life, my life, and how we can better our financial choices. Whether you take the advice or not, personal finance is personal. It's your money. So with that, guys, remember, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money. I am out.